You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Your boy Zach Lesage here, word up. Today we're gonna be covering over another Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX deck. This one's paired with Alchemy VMAX. So I've heard a lot of suggestions. I take your suggestions, I listen to them, and I mean, we're playing Alchemy VMAX today. I'm gonna try to cover all of the different Al all the different Shadow Rider variants available and let you know which ones are the best one. And that's there's gonna be a part of discovery on this channel where we're gonna try out all the different decks. Then I'm just gonna be like, you wanna know what? These are the decks that we're gonna be covering because these decks are broken. That being said, the list is in the description below, so check that out. While you're there, feel free to check out some of my sponsors, pick up some Zach Lesage merch. I'm still just rocking this Travis Scott t-shirt or something like that. I'm waiting on my merch order patiently, impatiently, patiently. Um, but all that does support my content as a content creator. If you're not necessarily look, look, looking into that, you can always help by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel. We just passed 4,300 subs. We are about to hit the one year anniversary of the channel, getting to 5k subs would be absolutely amazing. That being said, subbing to the channel really helps out. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell the neighborhood dog. We appreciate all of that. That being said, let's jump into this deck list, see exactly what's popping. So here we have it. We have Alchemy VMAX added into the Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX deck. Now, I see a lot of players playing like a 4-3, 3-3, 4-4 four, four line of Alcremie. I don't necessarily think you need that. How many energies are you going to be discarding peeps? I'm not entirely sure. Adornment is a great way to set up all of your bench Pokemon with Psychic Energies. And I mean, this deck's all about attaching energies and hitting for big damage. Whether you're hitting with G-Max G -Max Whisk. Jeez, that's a hard uh, amount of words to get out of my mouth. Um, discarding all those energies for 60 times. Or if you're hitting with Max Geist uh, for doing 10 plus 30 for each Psychic Energy attached to all your Pokemon... With 14 energies and an energy recycler, you are likely going to be hitting for a lot of damage. Whether you're going second and you're using Cresselia, using Marshadow to take away your opponent's path to the peak so you can use Underworld Door to accelerate more energies. This deck seems pretty clean, pretty simple. The biggest things that I think this deck could fall into issues are, are energy droughts. So at some point, whether you have all the energies attached to your Pokemon in play, or they're in your discard pile from G-Max Whisk, you might not be able to attach for your turn, use Underworld Door, and you might struggle to retreat a little bit. There's only three copies of Switch and two copies of Air Balloon. This deck, I actually added more retreating options. A lot of these decks have been cutting it incredibly low. This deck also has a low amount of setup cards. So there's a low amount of Dene GX, Crobat Vs, Marnie's Research, comparatively to other decks that might run an extra couple of Dene's, Eldegoss, um, other supporters. Probably because Underworld Door seems to be working enough. Um, but overall, this deck seems kind of hot. I think it's going to be one of those decks where it's either going to work or it's not. It could probably be a little bit more high roll. Um, if I had any suggestions for the deck, maybe adding a second Energy Recycler before I play out the games. Um, that's one of those cards where it might be a little bit light at the one of. At the same time, drawing to an Energy Recycler feels kind of bad. So we'll have to see how the games play out. But right now, I think this deck's kind of awesome. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. The deck is in the description below, so check that out if you want to play along while we're playing out this video. So our opponent's calling the coin flip. We lost the coin flip. Uh, I think we want to go first, and we are going first, so we totally take those. No basics there. Let's see what we can get going on with this hand. Are we going to be able to get a super strong setup? I mean, Cresselia's not too bad. Um, it just sucks that we have cards like Energy Recycler and Switch in our hand because we'd much rather see those um, elsewhere in the deck. Probably not getting pitched with a research. Now, let's go ahead and go Fog Crystal. So just to reiterate, we're probably going to grab a Shadow Rider Calyrex V. But we can always get things set up for an Alcremy V Max. I think Adornment sounds pretty cool. Um, and then just getting those set up now... Yeah, I think we're just going to get the Alcremie V set up. That sounds like the best play possible for us. And let's pass. Now, with our opponent starting with Jirachi, we'll have to see exactly how it goes. Um, I probably just want to go for a huge um, Adornment. I think Adornment's the name of the attack. I could be getting it wrong. I'm the worst at naming attacks off. I'll have to see um, how that kind of happens here now with our opponent going jirachi they have a boss's orders maybe they'll play the boss and bring up one of our pokemon okay they're pitching the boss away 
and there's a Santa Scorch. So they are going to have that. Are they going to have the switch or the scoop up net? So they do have the scoop up net, so they are able to go for Flare Starter on their Santa Scorch turn one. So they are going to get their four energies turn one. We got one, but if we can get a big board state, I'm cool with going for the whole adornment strategy. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. So we're going to go switch here into the Alcremie. We're going to go research and hopefully get a board set up with some Pokemon. I mean, reasonably, this doesn't seem too bad. Um, I'm going to go for Pokemon Communication. Actually, let's go with Evolution Incense here first. I think that makes a lot of sense. Evolution Incense for the Alcremie V, Max. Um, so I was right with Adornment. Uh, let's go like this. Just so that we're making it very clear, Adornment, for each of your bench Pokemon, search your deck for a Psychic Energy. We want to attach it to all of our Pokemon. Building it up to get a huge knockout on a Senna Scorch V Max if possible. Let's go ahead here and evolve this. Put this down here. I got to attach these from my hand. So let's see what we can get from our hand first. I mean, I think it's probably going to be a good idea to build up this Alcremi V on our bench. There's another horse. And at this point, I'm cool with just us drawing some more cards. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and pitch this whole hand away. Or maybe I'll just go Crobat and draw some more cards. To me, that seems fine. Or actually, I probably don't even need that. I could just go for another Alchemy V. Because I already have supporters in my hands. What am I thinking of? So there's Alchemy V. We're vibing out here. And then we're going to go for an Adornment turn two. And we're going to power up all these Pokemon with an energy. One energy, two energy, three energy, four energy, five energy. You can see we still have a bunch of energies left in our deck. So we're all powered up here. The whole gang's here. Now the thing that is going to suck, we don't have access to our energy recycler. So we got to very carefully plan out our attacks for the rest of the game. And we really want to just knock out the Senna Scourge VMAX. Maybe we'll just attack, we'll retreat and attack with Cresselia. Maybe maybe something else is going to happen. Like, it's one of those things where we are going to plan some big attacks here. So, as we play these things out, all these decks are very new. We'll have to see how every single situation comes, comes to be. It's one of those things where maybe a deck is better than another. Maybe a deck needs a second energy recycler. We are going to find it here on the channel and then upgrade the decks as they become relevant or maybe not upgrade them as they don't become relevant. Uh, because some decks, early ideas, maybe this is the best version to play Alchemy VMAX. Maybe it's not. We're going to have to find out. Be really nice if we could find a boss's order somehow. That's That would be the big plan. So this evolving into a Santa Scorch VMAX, uh, 40 plus, okay, I think we're getting knocked out with the Heatran. For seven energies, unless they have a Galarian Zigzagoon. Is there anything that has one retreat? I think we send up the Cresselia VMAX, or the Cresselia V. I just want to like think about this for a second. We're doing... We require four for the knockouts uh, to discard. Or we're doing, uh, how many would we have in play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX might actually get us there. So I think we go ahead and send up the Cresselia. If worse comes to worse, we just lose a single energy. But if we can attack with the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, I think we're in a good spot. I'm going to start off by going with the Crobat V. I think Crobat V sounds like a really good play. And I might want to play Marty this turn. I'm not entirely sure. Um, us grabbing the Air Balloon requires some less energies. But here, we're really not getting what we want. So let's go Quick Ball away a Research. we got to get some of those energies in play. So let's just grab another card that we're not going to need out of the deck. And we're going to play Research. They have a huge hand, but that's okay. We're fine to pitch everything away. 
So let's go Fog Crystal. We want to try to draw into more Psychic Energies in general. So let's go Underworld Door. We're going to power up ourselves. We're going to go Fog Crystal again. We're going to grab another Energy. Evolve this into a VMAX. And I think we're ready to start hitting our opponent hard. So let's go ahead, attach this here. I'm going to put Air Balloon onto this Pokemon. We're going to retreat. Do this. And since our opponent did take three prize cards, we got to be careful because we have one three prize card Pokemon that they can knock out to win the game. But we are going to go Max Geist for a lot of damage. 250. We basically need to attach three energies next turn in order to get the knockout on their Senna Scorch V Max with the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Or we could discard six energies with Alcremy V Max to knock out their Senna Scorch V Max. So that's really where the big plays are going to come from. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energies in play so we'll have to see if we can build up enough energies in play because the big thing about our opponent they can't play boss and welder in the same turn so we'll have to see how our opponent's able to kind of overcome this game and see what's going on There's a giant hearth, and they are down two welders so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would leave us with two energies left on the Alchemy V Max, which would make it very tough. There's 160. We got to go for the knockouts. So right now we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 240, 250. Let's see where this first one brings us. I think the first energy is definitely going on to this. Uh, let's go. Actually, we're going to take some cards out of our deck first because we want to thin out. So we're going to go ahead, discard that, grab Marshadow out of our deck. That sounds acceptable. Let's go ahead and go Underworld Door. We're going to power that up there. So that's 280. Three ten. We probably we can get the knockout with the Alchemy V Max. If we get the knockout with this, we're in a really good spot. Let's go ahead and go Evolution Incense. Get that out of our deck, so we can see that we have three energies in our deck. We're guaranteed to get one, so we can get the knockout with the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Let's go ahead here and pitch this out of our deck because we don't need that. We're gonna go ahead here and go Marnie. And let's build up another energy on this Alchrim EV. So that allows us to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 330, 340. We're going to retreat into this one because it has more HP. And we're going to attack with Max Geist for the knockout on their Senna Scorch V Max. So since our opponent needs boss and a bunch of energies to knock out our benched Shadow Rider Calyrax V Max that has 160 damage on it. I think we're probably safe, and I don't think they're able to come up with anything that can withstand a hit. So, that being said, we got to look at where our opponent might look for opportunities to win. They can't bring this up because we could get a knockout with G-Max Wisk and discard all of our energies. So, they have to look to other opportunities. Maybe they could bring up a Crobat V and hope that we have no Psychic Energy left. Or maybe they could bring up Alcremie V. I mean, we'd still probably have enough energies in order to win the game. It should also be noted that with the Psychic Energies that we have, or with Marnie, or with anything, we have an ex extremely high chance of getting a boss's order, so we could bring up any of these easy Pokemon to knock out. So, we're going to take the game, and it was super close, but shout out to Krolo for playing the games with us. Okay, so... Here we got Michelle calling the coin flip. We won the coin flip, so we want to go first with this deck, or at least I believe so, so far. Still trying to figure everything out. Um, kind of an awkward hand, um, but it's not terrible because we could just start here with the Cresselia. I 
I mean, we can get those into the discard pile. Now, one thing that we got to watch out for um, is just like Path to the Peak decks in general. Just double checking here to see, like, I'll discard these energies if we can get them back with Energy Recycler. Uh, that might be worthwhile. Um, but we don't necessarily have like a Marshadow or anything that we can grab in play either. And our hand's a little bit weak. So I think I'm actually going to wait the turn if I ever had a chance. Um, don't know exactly what deck she's playing, but I don't also want to, I don't want to pitch away a Shadow Rider, Calyrax VMAX and three Psychic Energies. At the same time, I also don't want to be put it between a rock and a hard place. You wonder what, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Denny GX. I know that Michelle's been playing Ice Rider for a little bit, and I don't necessarily want to lose to Path to the Peak and just draw past this entire game. Um, and while this is kind of a bit of an awkward start, at least we have opportunities to grab out Marshadow now and play the game out to get these around. We have Chaotic Small in our deck too. So let's go ahead here and pass our turn away. We also could have grabbed out, what's it called, a an Alcrim EV. Again, I'm trying to keep one just to grab something out of the deck or draw cards with Underworld Door, anything like that. So, we'll have to see how her start goes. There's a Water Energy on the active. There's a Retreat Cost, probably because she's playing a Melanie, yep. Um, so Melanie, you have to get it from the discard pile, not your hand. And I wouldn't be surprised if she just went after something like a... Pierce wouldn't be terrible, or maybe with the Air Balloon, it's better for her to retreat into a Galarian Zigzagoon. Might be interesting. Depends on the strength of her hands. And if she's playing the Chinchino build, or the Inteleon build. So I haven't seen a Minchino, I haven't seen a Sobble yet. So, we'll have to see exactly what's going on here. So she actually can't retreat because she did have... She retreated the energy off the Galarian Zigzagoon. Now, we don't need to worry about what's going on here because there is no Path to the Peak yet, but this is a Path to the Peak deck. So while we're getting set up here, let's go Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. Before we go with anything else, let's go ahead here and start off with getting more cards in our hands. So let's use Underworld Door to power ourselves up. And I'm just gonna power up the Calyrax. I think that seems completely fine. I'm going to go for an Alchemy. I'm going to go for... Um, what do I want to do here? It's actually quite tough. Let's go ahead and... I think I might have to pitch that away. It's really tough. If I go Quick Ball away a Quick Ball, I can't get everything else that I want. I want to get a Marshadow out so I don't have to worry about Path to the Peak so much. I also just want to start attacking with... Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. I think that's going to be a really good call. Um, maybe I just go ahead and go with the Calyrax VMAX. That might just be the best play that I have available at this moment. Now, one thing's for sure. If I'm putting a Marshadow down and I'm putting down a Crobat, I'm probably not going to have room for the Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. So I'm going to go ahead and just deal with that right now. Now that I have access to the Crobats, I'm probably going to play this hand out a little bit more. So let's go for the Fog Crystal. We're going to go ahead and grab a Psychic Energy. And you can see, sometimes talking through your plays are going to come up with a new strategy. Um, just go for it. There's the energies that we have in play. Um, now I want to have access to El Creamy VMAX so I can go Crobat for four. Um, not really worrying about Path of the Peak too, too much, but we still got options. Now we can go Quick Ball here, discarding. I probably want to get another Shadow Rider Calyrax V at some point, but I am going to get rid of this El Creamy V. Now we have Marshadow, so we have access to Underworld Door for the rest of the game. I'm going to go Marshadow here. I could just take a quick knockout on the Galarian Zigzagoon. I think it might be better for me to get a better hand set up. So I'm going to go ahead and Marshadow. Um, Michelle's hand might not be overly great, but at the same time, we can get other things set up for play. Um, although this hand doesn't seem like super great, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and go Max Geist, hit for 130. Or 100, I should say. And next turn, the plan is to hit for 160. 100 plus 160 is, is decent. Um, it's really not like a crazy amount of damage. 
So maybe that's not going to work out the way that we want things to work out. But at least we're building up some kind of damage. Maybe they'll just hit us for 160. Maybe I should have just sat there with the Cresselian. <laughs> this is all wrong. Like, we're getting a decent setup. It's just like, we gotta watch out for Path of the Peak because of Underworld Door. We gotta watch out for a bunch of stuff. If there's any play that I want to do next turn, it might just be going for Adornment if I ever had a hunch. Adornment seems like it's going to be a really good strategy for us. And that's why Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX is really more of a late game attacker. We could build up the energies in play and start attacking with it. We want to get, if we're going to go for an Adornment play, then we probably want to get out another Shadow Rider Calyrex V to evolve eventually into a VMAX. That's going to require the Marshadow going from our bench somewhere. Oh, it looks like they might have missed. That's huge for us. So we will go ahead and try to take this one out, taking some of those energies and building things up into play. So since there's no path to the peak, let's go for Underworld Door. We're going to go Underworld Door, powering up our Alchemy VMAX, because we got to choose the energies that we have in play. So let's go Underworld Door here. Attach there. And as much as I'd love to do other things right now, I'd, I'd, I'd love to take the knockout right here. So this is going to be huge play for us. Taking two prize cards. Let's evolve into the Alchemy VMAX. Just so we have that as a backup attacker. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 240. Um, we can get a couple extra energies in play next turn and maybe a switch. So that could work. Let's go Max Geist. For the knockouts so 130 not enough not not too much but it's just enough there's a research cards that we want to see there's an evolution incense again it's probably not going to matter too much but we'll have to see how it plays out as long as we're able to get out of the active spot attach an energy to the alchemy v max and get off an underworld door we are going to be able to knock out an ice rider calyrax v max and with Michelle searching out a level ball, she can use Drizzile to get set up here with Shady Dealings to search for an item card. And likely that item card is going to be able to search out an Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX. So when it comes down to the Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX, they're either, use the, they're either using Ride to the High King to two-shot something um, or finishing off something with Max Lance. Depends on like the Melanie options. But right now, I, I don't necessarily see one way or another. Like, I think with her attaching the capture energy, she's probably banking that this is not getting knocked out next turn. So, it's probably getting hit for... I thought we were going to get hit for 250 there. But we'll see how it plays out. Um, we can't get out another Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX. Um, or an, our Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX, I should say. So let's go ahead here, since we're searching for more energies, let's go for Energy Recycler, get some of our energies back. I normally like using this after using G-Max Whisk, but we don't necessarily have that as an option. Let's go Chaotic Swell, so we can block a path to the peak. And let's grab some cards out of the deck that we don't necessarily want to see, like this other Alchemy VMAX. We don't want to see that for the rest of the game, so let's just thin this out completely. Grabbing out another Alchemy V, which again, we don't want to see for the rest of the game. So let's go Quick Ball, grabbing again a shadow rider calyrax v so this is what we're talking about when it comes down to thinning now marnie is not really going to matter too much and we do have access to another shadow rider calyrax v max i think um i probably should have double checked i think we have one one left in the deck i'm going to go off what i believe i saw and pitch those away so we are going to be able to barely get the knockout here for three prize cards now, one, two, three, four. Actually, we are not going to be able to get that. So we're going to go for the Adornment play. Let's go ahead here and go Underworld Door. We could power this up. That's five. Oh, actually, we are able to. Six. Six times six is 360. So we are going to be able to take the knockout on the active Pokemon. So let's go ahead here and go Fog Crystal, grabbing another Psychic Energy. We're going to go Retreat here. It doesn't matter who we attach it to. And we're going to pitch everything away.
360 for the knockouts. Math is fun sometimes. We did lose a lot of energies, though. So we're down to one prize card remaining. One, two, three prize cards. You can see Psychic Energies go lower. Um, so the play here next turn is to kind of trap ourselves into winning the game, getting set up to win the game with Adornment. So as long as we're able to go Adornment, attach an energy, we should just be able to clear this game out and boss his orders up something on our opponent's side of the field. Um, either way, we should be able to win the game between Max Geist and Boss, or G Max Whisk, and just knocking out our opponent's Pokemon. Now, Michelle doesn't necessarily have strong ways to Oko back to back V Max Pokemon. Maybe we're just going to get reset stamped into one. Um, I'm speaking way too soon here, but we'll see what's going on here. We have a lot of Psychic Energies left in our deck. I think it's like eight. So even if we are getting reset stamped to one, we do have a decent chance of drawing into one or the supporters that we struggled to find earlier on in the game. So we did get a Psychic Energy. And she missed the attack. That's a yikes. Let's go for the Underworld Door. Let's power up at least. Um, I don't necessarily want to power this one up. Because she can just knock us out with Ride to the High King. So let's go Psychic Energy. Let's attach it to a Pokemon that likely won't get knocked out. And I assume the Crobat's going to be the one that's not going to get knocked out. Oh, we can only attach it to Psychic Pokemon. So we will attach it to the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. we got to get powered up too in case this gets knocked out somehow. So let's go ahead here, attach. And let's go for Adornment. One, two... Every time you attach an energy, it just takes away the option. Three, four. Yeah, I think this seems fine. It's tough because I don't want to attach the other ones to Crobat because we only have the two energies left in our deck. So we're just going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five. So when we attach the sixth energy, we're good. That's going to be our big plan. Now, the thing that sucks is we can't draw boss's orders and a supporter and a psychic energy in the same turn. So if Michelle's able to take out our Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, we might be in a tough spot. And with her getting a scoop up net, that means that the Sobble can evolve into a Drizzile, which can likely just grab out a boss's order, netting her three prize cards. So we still got to be very careful because we're not out of the clear yet. But we have other options, potentially. We have ways to power up the Alchemy VMAX. So I think that that might be worthwhile to power that up with the Cresselia. We will lose an energy, but that will give us enough energies that if we get a boss orders, we can win the game. So let's go ahead and send up the Cresselia. As you can see, like we're struggling to get set up, period. Um, the reset stamp is really what's hurting us a lot. And I mean, that's what's going to happen. This deck doesn't have too many draw things. Once you run out of energies, you can't necessarily be just drawing cards with Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX. We also don't have the Psychic Energies in order to do that. Now, I think it's much better for us to just go Crescent Glow, powering up our Alchemy VMAX, and putting ourselves in a position where we can win the game the next turn if we find a boss's orders. I'm putting Michelle in a position where she has to knock this out in the active spot, then knock out one of our other two prizers on the bench. It's going to be quite difficult to make that happen. Um, although, I guess she could just go right of the High King, hit, and then boss's orders knock out with Max Lance, showing the versatility of the Ice Rider Calyrax. She could also attack right into the Alchemy VMAX, which would make things a little bit awkward for us if we do not top deck boss. So, not going the prize card route, which probably means she has access to another boss's orders. We could also just retreat this and maybe pay that back to her if it does not happen. So 
So she is getting set up with the other one. We'll have to see how that goes. Maybe she's worried about us having the boss in our hands and it's gonna go for another reset stamp. There's a lot of things that could happen here. And this deck, of course, being able to search through for any item card um, or any trainer card makes it very difficult for us to predict what's necessarily coming. So there's a switch, okay. So she's got to stay with the Calyrex VMAX and the active because that's one thing that can currently take a blow. One, two, three, four. Um, four energies in play. We don't even have the access to get two energies in play. So Ride of the High King, it definitely would have... Okay, that's the correct attack. Um, I don't believe we have it. We have the Pokemon Communication. I'm just going to go ahead here and try to thin this deck out a little bit. So we have a lot of cards that could get us the boss. I mean, we're, we're, we're dealing with a tough spot here. Let's go Air Balloon. I'm going to retreat here. And I'm just going to have to power up with Crescent Glow again, hoping that Michelle doesn't have the boss. So there's nothing else that we could do. We're kind of stuck in a position where... Hopefully she's not able to take the knockouts. Um, and we're probably cutting it a little too thin at the end of the game. So you can see that just like having to go for that knockout really drained our options for energy, rendering the Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX useless. And I think that she could just take some simple attacks going off here, just going Ride of the High King, knockouts. Um, the fact that we're not seeing a boss immediately means that we're probably not losing the game this turn. Since we can knock out anything on the bench with 120, I'm going to go ahead here and send up... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and send up the Marshadow. Because if she didn't... She had the Inteleon. That probably means she just doesn't have access to boss. Let's try to buy some turns here. I'm just going to pass here. So if there's no boss and there's no real sniping, we're probably just okay to take the game at some point if we eventually draw into the boss's orders. And it's just gonna be one of those things where whenever we have the boss in our hands, whether that's right now, a turn later, turn later from that, there's currently not too many options for Michelle to snipe around our build um, of this Marshadow. Now, I think this is actually, the escape rope is going to be like that. There's no current way around this. Uh, because that's 250 damage, 250, 280, 380, 380. So yeah, we're going to send this up. There's nothing that can withstand the hits. If we had another single prize card Pokemon, we could get it. Um, and Michelle's going to be able to take the game. So we did top tech the boss's orders last turn if we, sent up the if we sent up the incorrect Pokemon. But that's what you get. Sometimes you get punished for playing correctly. Um, it's how it's going to be sometimes. Maybe we should have sent up the Dedenne GX to retreat into the Marshadow. But I didn't want to necessarily run out of things either. Awesome game played by Michelle. That's what we got going on for this video today, peeps. Hopefully everyone enjoyed watching this deck. Either the cake is going to be delicious or the cake is going to crumble. And it's one of those things where I felt both sides of that. Where it's like that first game that I played against Crollo, the deck was just like absolutely busted. The cake was bussin'. And game two, I think I fell a little bit short. That reset stamp really hurts. We, maybe I worried away too much about Path to the Peak and I should have just kept the bench space open. Maybe I should have kept a lot of things different. I'm not entirely sure, but I think as we learn this deck together, we're either going to determine if it's a good deck or not. Right now, my current take on the deck, it's a little too high roll for my liking, but we'll see. Maybe you're going to love it. Again, if you haven't already liked this video, what are you doing? Like this video. It really helps boost the algorithm to introduce my channel to new Pokemon TCG fans or just fans of any kind of trading card games, Pokemon in general. You can also subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we just passed 4,300, and I appreciate all the support from everyone, including our YouTube channel members. Check that out if you want to help support the channel a little bit more. That being said, I'm just on an editing grind. Pretty much dual uploads every single day um, until we run out of deck content, so I'll catch up with everyone later on. Got to do a bunch more editing. Peace out. Have a great one.
I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's become a channel member. It's one of those things where I appreciate every single person who watches my videos, and I mean, that's really where it counts, but for the channel members, they've gone out of their way to financially support me, and I truly appreciate that gesture. It's one of those things when I started channel memberships up on my channel, and I, I just didn't know if anyone was ever going to do it, so I truly appreciate everyone taking the plunge, taking a leap of trust, and investing in me as a content creator. Truly makes a difference for me each and every month. If you haven't already thought about becoming a channel member, you might want to contribute to the channel, and I do put everything back into the channel to make it the best possible place to watch for Pokemon TCG content. Again, I truly appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Cheers. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video and have yourself a great day. Thanks.